So this is indeed a tricky problem. Any kind of uh, wanting to get digital product variants, for example, or any kind of stuff that's not built in is really difficult. Uh, one way to proceed is uh, to have different SKUs for the variants uh, using, for example, service products. Uh, no, it wouldn't work here. What I'm thinking is that if you use different SKUs, then in the checkout order confirmation page, we can use JavaScript to check which SKUs were actually bought. And then depending on which SKUs were bought, we can use Zapier and then send an email depending on which SKU the user bought. Now, I haven't found a way to make this as reliable as I would like. So currently I'm pausing this method. Um, but I think the problem is that um, physical books need to be shipped, but digital products do not need shipping. So uh, there's going to be any kind of plugin workaround hack is going to run into the issue that digital products might have, you know, shipping costs with which they shouldn't have, or vice versa, they might, uh, you know, buy a digital product and have and but then have to pay for shipping. Or did I mention it the other way around? Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Um, doubling the amount using additional product pages become un untenable and bad user experience. I agree with you 100%. However, I'm just going to recommend one possible solution because that's what I do. I try to solve these Squarespace problems for my clients. So here goes. Ho ho hopefully this will at least be inspiring uh, while you're looking for a solution. I created a test page on Squarespace and what I sell, I sell these Squarespace plugins and often the problem is that I have a normal version and I have a more expensive unlimited developer version, but it's impossible to kind of get the variants uh, with the digital the downloads, which is kind of similar to what you're doing. So what could be done is that you create another uh, page, another shop page. For example, I have my uh, developer versions. I have my developer versions in a new store. And here is the unlimited developer version. I've adjusted the uh, buy button to say purchase unlimited developer version for clarity. And here is why we can in our main shop page, we can add the kind of variant in your case, this would probably the, be the digital download version. We can add the digital download version as a product block. So here in additional info, we add a product where where are you product we add a product block and we edit this product block oh squarespace come on yeah we edit the content to be the kind of the different version of the same product in your case this would probably be the digital download version for me it's the developer version we hide all the unnecessary stuff like image title price, but we have the add to cart button. Now we have a button on the main product page to purchase an alternate, alternate, alternative version of the same product. And when we hit apply and save, we're gonna get kind of uh, this would be your book or my plugin and you can buy the normal version or you can buy the uh, special version digital download version if we add some JavaScript for example this we can move this from here to here and hide the unnecessary product block so uh, this would take quite a bit of effort but it's the best I can come up with on like two or three minutes of thinking about this problem. 
but uh, I think this could be a possible user experience for you. Uh, you know, you have to purchase. You can you can adjust what these purchase buttons say. So this could be like purchase physical book, and this will be like purchase the digital down download version. And everything would actually work pretty well because this would add the uh, physical version to the cart, and this would add the digital version to the cart and then depending on what you have in cart all the like shipping fees and the checkout stuff and delivering actually the digital product or shipping the physical book would work out pretty well because it's not messing around with uh, any stuff that shouldn't be messed around with so here is one one solution add a product block add some javascript uh excuse me part one um create those alternate versions add the alternate version as a product block and use javascript to move the product block uh, buy button to a better place and then adjust the prop buy slash add to cart button uh titles or or the kind of this whatever this is called like the text on the button this is difficult to explain as I'm not a native English speaker, but you, I, I hope you got what I was going for with this. So this is one possible solution. I'm, I'm actually going to implement this on my site. I think this is going to be good. It takes a tons of work, but try to find like a cheap assistant on Upwork.com or Freelancer.com to make the duplicate versions for like, you know, 10 bucks an hour, some, some cheap virtual assistant. Uh, another possibility is possibly uh, the Shopify buy button could be appended to a Squarespace site. And I believe Shopify would have a lot more flexibility when it comes to uh, what you're wanting to do. Um, getting the variants either be a physical or a digital version. I'm pretty sure Shopify would handle that. And, and you could... Possibly use the buy button now if you have hundreds of products You might need to move to Shopify overall uh, uh, Third option You could consider embedding equid to your Squarespace site now equid is a piece of code You can just copy paste as a code block to your Squarespace site and then you will have an e-commerce store there. Uh, you could check if Equid has the. I, I know they have you know the digital downloads and physical product and tons of uh, flexibility. Uh, Squarespace e-commerce doesn't have, uh, which could solve your problem. So you would ditch the Squarespace e-commerce and and install Equid e-commerce inside your Squarespace store and that way you could still have the lovely flexibility of Squarespace design and template stuff. Not 100% sure uh, if Equid can handle this but uh, it'd be worth looking into. So I think these three would be your best uh, best bets. Moving completely to Shopify would be a big project and designing the site will be a lot more expensive and time consuming. Squarespace is a lot quicker design wise, but you might need to consider something like this unless uh, this hack that I uh, suggested will do. Anyway, good luck and let me know if you need a Squarespace pro developer. Uh, I do this full time. I'm pretty good with this stuff. So yeah, hit me up if, if you need help with this implementation.